When you fight some of the bigger monsters in the game, you may notice some of the numbers appearing as orange rather than white at times. This is an indication that part of the monster you're attacking is a breakable and a weak point of the monster. With enough damage done to that one area, you can break it off or cut that part off completely and gain extra rewards for doing so. Within this video, I'll be explaining the benefits of damaging certain monster parts and how to know what part of the monster can be broken or not. So say you're in the forest and you're hunting down a Anginanth and you're attacking the monster and you notice when you tag his tail, the damage number turns orange. This is an indication that the part of the monster is a breakable and can be cut off. Now it doesn't do double damage or anything like most games tend to indicate. But what it does do instead is once you manage to damage it enough, you end up breaking or cutting that part of the monster off, which can help stopping a monster from using a certain attack all the time, and also weaken said monster part. Let's take the Anginanth as an example again. The Anginanth has a habit of doing tail swing and tail slams when you're behind them, and it can be incredibly annoying when you're doing a combo on them and they just swipe you and thus lose your attack. However, you could put a stop to this. If you keep attacking his tail, it will eventually come off and thus prevent the monster from doing his tail swings and slams ever again. But, it can do his tail attacks, but it will have limited range and less damage. You can also go ahead and carve on his tail to gain extra crafting gear, which you'll need for creating more items, but this rule only applies once the tail has been cut off. Now that's just one of his weaknesses, and Janath actually has multiple areas of weaknesses that can be broken, such as his legs and head, which through visual signs can scar up. You also have another sign on the screen that tells you if you broke a monster part, such as the one you see here. This little sign here will always appear and tell you if you have broke a monster part successfully or not. If you don't see the visual signs of the monster, such as scars and such, but you do see this little sign as shown, then don't worry, you have broke something. If this tip doesn't help you, then here's another one. Listen out for a loud crunch noise the monster makes when you break a part of the body. If you hear it and they fall over, then congratulations you have successfully broke something on the monster. This rule applies to all monsters within the game, as most of them will have a part of the body that can be cut off or broken, like their wings, fins, head, claws, or legs, etc. Now there is one thing you must remember though, and that is in terms of damaging a monster, you won't always be able to cut off a certain part of a monster successfully, as this all depends on the monster you're fighting and the weapon you're using. Anjanam's tail can be cut off using sharp weapons such as swords and shields, dual swords, great swords, lances and so forth. Same if you were going to go up against the Great Jagras or the Pookie Pookie. I believe I said that right. The same way you can go ahead and break their body parts as if they were soft armour, as they can be punctured quite easily with any weapon. Using a hammer against Anjanath's tail won't cut it off as it's considered a blunt weapon, but it can still do damage to it, for example, as it's considered a weak point of the monster. In this case here, you want to use your hammer against tougher shell monsters like Baroth or Diablos. Uh, using weapons such as sword and shields or dual swords may not puncture through the monster's skin completely and instead bounce off. But this also depends on the sharpness of your weapon as well, as weapons like your dual swords can do damage against said monsters and even break their parts like tails and such. But its sharpness needs to be at least within the green zone or higher, or you need to get a certain skill that allows your weapon to stay sharp. So you still have different ways of taking on a monster without being limited down to certain weapons, which is kind of great for farming parts. This is one thing you need to pay attention to when you're fighting monsters in the game. You need to be aware of what areas of the monster can be broken, and what types of monsters it is you're facing. Pay attention to the monster's movement and attack, and see what body part it uses the most for attacking, and attack that area so you can damage them and break their parts the most. If they use their wing a lot, then aim for their wing so you can break it, and weaken their damage. Do they use their claws a lot, or do they use their head? What I like to say is, watch, read, attack, and see. If you follow that small little method there, you'll be able to adjust to the monster's movements, adjust to their attacks, and be able to always have a one-up on them, no matter what fight it is. And that, everyone, is the end of that. The signs for knowing when you break a monster apart is all there for you in the open, and all you need to do is pay attention to the monster you're going up against, and the colour of the weak points numbers you see. Do these few things and not only will the monster attack be less hurtful, but you also gain more rewards for breaking their parts. So if there's anything else you want to know more about, then please leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see what I can do for you. If not, then please leave a like, maybe a sub, or even a share for the video. Once again everyone, thank you for watching and I do hope to see you all again soon.